Block 58! Block 58! Go! Welcome to today's tutorial on how to get ready for a game. If you have not seen how to create a game plan, please see video 6, how to use the game plan feature before proceeding. Now that all your devices are connected and your play library has been installed, let's get ready for a game. Before every game, make sure you check the status of all your wrist receivers by clicking the plus and check status sign. Every wrist receiver lit up in green means that it's ready to play. Let's talk about editing the device info first. You can rename the device, but it has to be on and in range. Use the check status function to determine whether it is ready. Type in the name of the individual that will be using the wristband. You can hit the check mark or minimize the keyboard. You can select them to be offense, defense, or both. This is only possible if you set up your device on the portal to have both offense and defense functions. If you selected only offense or defense, you will not have this availability. Select save to continue and you'll see the wristband updates to the name. Again, the wristband has to be on and in range to be able to update. I simulated the device being off or out of range or on a different channel by turning it off. Now when I select the check status function, you will see that mic is unresponsive and it will show a red circle. This indicates that the device is not working and not responding to the tablet at the moment. I turn the device back on and I hit the check status button again. From here you will see that the wristband named Mike lights up green and is active and responding to the tablet again. The on duty and off duty function allows you to pick whether a device will be used for a game or not. When you put a device in off duty mode, it will not be available to be selected for a game. When a device is on and in range and you select check status while off duty, it will respond. The last function is called forget device. When you select forget device on the tablet, it will erase the device from your tablet. The device will always remember its name though. When the device is on and in range, it will also forget the tablet it is connected to and the connection will be completely severed. The device will show you a confirmation by stating tablet forgotten. I quickly paired the device back so I can show you after you connected it back that the device will actually receive the name registered on the wrist receiver. So Mike will always be remembered by the wrist receiver unless you rename it. Armilla also offers a change channel feature. When you select switch channel, you can select default, which is the pairing channel. You can select game home or practice offense or game away practice defense. You can also select a second tablet option. More on that on the next video. When you are done selecting, select OK. From here, the device will start scanning for any frequencies that are busy. It will list a total of seven channels. This will take up to a minute to scan. From these seven channels, it'll list the least busy to the most busy. You can select whichever channel you want to make sure that you're not clashing with anyone. Select the channel and select OK. From here, you will see the channel will be updated on all of the wrist receivers. The tablet will confirm that each wrist receiver responded and that the tablet also switched the channel successfully. If you play the game on a different channel outside of default, Armilla recommends switching back to default when you finish. From the Devices screen, select the plus and select Switch Channel. If you select Default, the tablet and all the wrist receivers connected to it will switch back to channel 0. If you select Use this tablet as a second tablet, only the tablet will switch back to the default channel. There are two additional ways to switch the wrist receiver to default. You can turn it off and back on, or you can put the wrist receiver into pairing mode by double clicking the power button. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at Until next time.